What a weekend of district championship games. Let's get right to the highlights. We have all of your highlights from all the games. Doherty, St. Peter, Marion, Division I softball final. Doherty looking for their first district title since 1995. Top of the fifth, 5-2. Doherty, Deirdre, Gallo, shot up the middle. Danielle Rochelot scores. Mia Cariglia scores. It is 5-4. St. Peter's down by one. Bottom of the fifth, Grace Mushin with the blast to left. Peyton Sylvester coming in to score. 6-4, Doherty in front. Top of the seventh now, 7-4, Doherty. Last chance for SPM. Great diving catch by Nikki Soretti. Just an unreal play. And as Hurley with a rocket past the dive at third. Gallo coming in to score. It is 7-5. Megan Moran crushing one deep to center over everyone. Hurley, he scores. It is seven to six. It is now a one-run game. Moran, the tying run is on second. Tenth situation. Flair between short and third. Samantha Stake, the shortstop. Incredible diving catch. Ends it. Doherty, your district champ. Seven to six, the final. Grafton and Auburn, first time in the final since 1984 for Auburn. Top of the first, sophomore Savannah Small getting the strikeout. Bottom second, sophomore Julia Hanfield getting the strikeout. Back and forth we go. Top third, Tyler Reno. Shot deep to short. Single for Reno, and Auburn is trying to have a little rally going here. Kylie Hines. Blast to left center. Passed a great diving effort. Pinch runner Jessica Chenard coming around to score. Auburn taking a 1 0 lead, and the Rockets are pumped. Small gets the strikeout to end the inning. Hanfield strong on the hill, striking out two in this inning. Auburn wins two to one, the first district title in program history. Uxbridge and Tahanto in softball. This is your Division Three final. All these games being played at Ralph Raymond Diamond. Top of the first, Uxbridge is J.C. Garrigan. The smash to left. Morgan McCarty coming around to score, and the U is on the board. One nothing, Uxbridge. Same inning, Samantha Shriver. Flies one into right. Melissa Silva is tagging it third. And she's off. Silva beating the throw home, and the Spartans are up 4 0. Bottom of the first, Tahanto retaliating. Michaela Heron lines one to the gap. Two runners coming around to score for the Stags. And it is now a 4 2 game. Tahanto down by two. Bottom of the third, 4 3, Uxbridge. Ball gets away. Julia O'Brien coming in to score, and we are all tied up at four apiece. Bottom fourth now. Heron hitting and lacing one to the center field wall. Mary Kate O'Day scores, giving Tahanto the lead for good. Stags win 13 to 9. Your final. Groton Dunstable and Bromfield. Girls lacrosse. This was a great game. First half, Bromfield. Megan Parley scores. It is 4 2, Bromfield in front. Second half, Sophia Turquetta to Chandler Farley. She scores 6 4, Bromfield in front. Groton Dunstable answering. Eleanor Eisenclam, eight meter goal. It is 6 5, Crusaders down by one with four and a half minutes to play. Under 10 seconds to play in the game. Groton Dunstable down one. Sarah Walsh to Leah Garside. Garside scores with three seconds left to tie it up and send it into overtime. So in OT, Emily. Pod Gorney with a great save for Bromfield. Still tied. We go to a second overtime. Samantha Smith finding Eisenclam. Eisenclam scores. Groton Dunstable wins the district title 7 to 6 in two overtimes. Now St. John's taking on Long Meadow Division 2 district championship out west. Second quarter 3-1 Long Meadow. Ray Ryan Gaiman with a cannon for a goal. It is 3-2 St. John's down by one. More from St. John's. Andrew Cox on the ISO. Cox gets a step, gets his hands free, ripples. We're tied up at three apiece. Long Meadow on the man up. Max Stukelin, best player on their team, feeds Chris Campbell. Campbell, the goal, Long Meadow is up by one. Brendan Rocco, the sophomore, on the ISO. Twine finder. We are all tied at four at the half. Third quarter, Long Meadow. Textbook, fast break. Campbell, the finish. Lancers are up by one. Drew Kozib 
on the ISO. He ripples off hip. Pioneers down by one, 6-5. Max Stuckelin, though, and Longmeadow too much. They win it 15-5, your final. Division three final, Grafton taking on Mount Greylock. Second quarter, Chase Kapasinski feeding Matt O'Brien, and Grafton's up 4-2. Kapasinski, elevator shot, dropping the head of the stick low, rips it up high, 5-3, Grafton in front. Brendan Coates running the break for the Indians. Feeds Hunter Frazier, bevy of fakes. Frazier dents the mesh, 6-3, Grafton. Ryan tills Desley to Coates. Great stick protection. Rippling on the short side, 7-3, Grafton. Grafton was up 7-5 at the half. Third quarter, Grafton shot. Greylock to save. Frazier, like Phil Esposito, scores on the rebound. 8-5, Grafton. Fourth quarter, Matt O'Brien. On the ISO, goal from an impossible angle. Grafton's up 11 to six. And the Indians with Kapusinski, another goal, go on to win this one 14 to six, your final. St. Peter Marion and Shrewsbury in baseball. Scoreless in the bottom of the first. Shrewsbury's Kevin Hummer on the hill and getting the strikeout. Shrewsbury, Hummer getting another strikeout to end the inning. Top of the second, now base is loaded. Chris Wright, sacrifice fly to left. Mike Filieri is tagging. Filieri scoring, one nothing Colonial. Pat Gallagher on the hill for St. Peter's, just a battler. He gets a strikeout to end the inning. Top of the third, more from Gallagher. Reaching back, gets another strikeout. Bottom third now, runner at third. St. Peter Marion out at first on the fielder's choice, but doing his job. P.J. Berry scores. We're tied up at one apiece. St. Peter's wins the district crown 3-1, your final. All right, Auburn, you're defending district champs, Division Three. Groton Dunstable coming in undefeated. Good matchup. Bottom of the second scoreless game. Connor Scully getting the strikeout to end the inning. Now we go to the top of the third. Man on for Auburn, Justin Watt. Gets the strikeout to end the inning. Bottom third, two outs. Jake Barnes reaching out and touching one. Smokes one through into left. Matt Naughton scores 1-0. Groton Dunstable in front. Top six now. Watt on his game. Watt delivering. Justin Watt strikes out the side. Top seven. Last chance for Auburn. Runner on third, Avery Lemansky, deep shot to right. Kevin Connerty, running catch at the warning track right before the wall, great catch. Groton Dunstable wins one nothing, inches from tying up the game. What a finish. Oxford and St. Bernard's in the Division Four Central Mass District Championship. Top of the second, St. Bernard's Cooper Bigelow with the base hit. Ryan Philibron scores and it's one nothing Bernardians. Top third. Oxford's Jared Buckley on in relief, and he gets the strikeout to end the inning. Bottom third now, Pirates Zach Renahan. Waiting, good piece of hitting. Renahan stings one into left. O Town is in business. Renahan's got a single. Buckley following suit with a hit. Renahan coming in to score, tied up at one. Buckley gets the strikeout in the fourth. Oxford comes back, and they win it 6-5. A walk-off win for the Pirates and a district title. All right, now we have state semifinals in tennis this afternoon. Whitensville Christian in Mount Greylock. Whitensville Christian in the blue. Number one singles. Whitensville Christian's Ben Koopman serving in the far court. And Gray Kagey for Greylock in the near court. Koopman wins the point. They switch sides. Kagi wins the point, but Koopman wins the match, 6-1, 6-1. Number two singles, Jake Fink from Mount Greylock in the far court. Owen Brookhouse, Whitensville Christian in the near court. Brookhouse commanding forehand. Beautiful drop shot on the backhand winner, and Brookhouse wins 6-1, 6-2. Number three singles, far court, Whitensville Christian's Gabe Brookhouse serving. He wins the point and the match, 6-1, 6-1. Whitensville Christian wins as a team, 3-2. They are on to the state finals. Worcester Country Club, the site of the 107th Mass Open, par 4, 18th. This is Jeffrey Sisk. Nice approach from the rough. 
he would two putt for par and even through nine. How about Holden's Fran Quinn? Fresh off a top 15 tour, Champions Tour finish. Solid out of the greenside bunker. Quinn would bogey 18, plus two after nine. His son Owen on the bag. Great father-son tandem. Great memories out there for Quinn. His approach on the par four. He would end up with a even today, three back of the leader. We're all rooting for Fran, Fran Quinn in this matchup. That's sports. We're done. <laughs> Kevin Shane, Tim McCollum. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow night at 6.